Good morning, QB Squad. This is the girl, Queen BB. We are back with another freaking video today. So today is Friday, the last day of the month. Yay. Can't wait for fall. I can't. I just can't do stamina more no more. So this morning, we got up very early. So today we'll be dropping him off to school. And um yeah. Before we even get into the video, I need you guys to give the video a thumbs up, right. comment down below, and also to subscribe the video. Right, welcome back. I hope y'all guys subscribe, like the video, and also comment <laughs> down below. And I hope y'all tell your people to subscribe to my channel as well. Tell your mama, your dad, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, your family. I don't care. Have them to shout to my channel as well, so they will not miss any of my upcoming video. So, like I was saying, I'm on my way to drop him off to school, and um, I was supposed to go to work too, but I have to call out that on my way to see the doctor because something really going on with me. I've been coughing, my nose been running, and I couldn't even sleep. My voice been changing for the last. We Friday, and I thought it would, you know, be a good idea for me to get the weight to see if it would have to be, you know, dissolved or be gone any couple of days after that. But no, we're already in. It's only been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that. That basically been a nine day, so I still have my cough of that day. So I'm like I said, I'm gonna drop him off going to my doctor's office and then um cast them check and then um and after I am y'all already know that I already moved into my new apartment right and um I'm sorry about the style in the background I really appreciate I really sorry about that and so my new bed is finally come after the day I moved into my apartment and I've been sleeping on an air mattress for the longest. I mean, it's time. It is time, baby. It is time for a new bed. I'm ready. So, this is, like I said, this is actually my actual first apartment ever. My first apartment ever. And I'm so happy. I'm really happy. I feel like I did a, a really good job. Don't you say, baby? Yeah. I did a good job, right? Yeah, but you still have to clean up your room. I did a good job. That's the most thing I really want to hear from anybody else get out of their mouth. That I'm very proud of me and you did an amazing job. Not just for yourself, also for the Lord boy that you were also been for almost four years. And he's not even my actual style. He's actually my second cousin. But I'm treating like he is my style. So. I don't want people to feel like you raised this boy who is actually your cousin, but you had the little boy that's actually calling your mama out of the blue. At the first of all, I didn't even force him to call me a mama. He automatically did on himself. So I can't help it. I can't. But like I said, I'm, I'm very blessed to have him in my life. And I know very well he is very blessed. To have a me be in his life because all this stuff he was going through is, I mean, I made it and yeah, and yeah, I'm really glad he actually in my life. And I mean, since he's been in my life, I went back to school. To get my social degree out in my last year of the math to get my social degree of uh, being a teacher. So, yeah. So, let's just sit back, relax, and turn the ride. Okay, 
okay, we done drop him off to school. Now we're on the way to my doctor's office. Just, um, it's a walking appointment. Um, yeah. So, oh, I gotta make an appointment. No, it's actually the walking appointment. I don't have to, really have to make an appointment. And it was really time for me to go get checked up because I haven't been getting checked up for a very long time. So I blame myself for that. And I made my job to get over my health. No, I supposed to be make sure I'm hundred percent good with my help. So we're on the way to the doctor appointment. I had to stop at the gas station to get some water. I want to make sure I drink a lot of water. So I didn't eat breakfast yet. So I didn't eat breakfast yet because I heard that if you eat breakfast before your appointment. While they actually do like a blood pressure test on you, you automatically fail. They don't think you have a high blood pressure, but no. The fact that what a good is, when you even have a doctor appointment, make sure you don't eat nothing. You drink water, but don't drink, I mean, don't eat nothing when you go to your doctor appointment, okay? And um, yeah, that is that is what is actually worth for me. Every time I go to my doctor appointment, and they were doing like a blood pressure, high blood pressure test on me to see if my high blood pressure was high or low. But what they were was very good for me is not to eat nothing, and you go on your high blood pressure. So yeah, that was the main thing is to make sure you have a good high blood pressure. The last time I went there, about three, four, it's you know, four or five years ago I went there, and I haven't been seeing my doctor in almost three years. That is crazy. I haven't been still baby. But now today is my only day to be able to see what's actually really going on. Cause the cough I have was really irritating my nerve and it also took in my uh, asthma. Yes, I have asthma. And I was this close to have an asthma attack at work. Not a good thing. So, like I said, I had the cough almost nine days since last week Friday. And it have not been going yet. It seems like my cough is normal changing. And I'm um, not even getting better, but my voice is changing a little bit. I can tell. So that's really definitely okay. Ooh, I'm a nice good cold water. So yeah, and like I said, I'm very happy that my bed is finally coming. Now I just gotta, I'm gonna have to show y'all before picture of my room, how my room look. It, it's a mess, okay? When I say it's a mess, it's a mess. Don't blame me. Blame, I just never had time to do anything. I just run back and forth for my job, my school, Make sure my little boy is good. Make sure my mom is good. See, everything I do, I put myself last. I want to make sure everybody, you know, around me is good. So, that's why, if I say I am tonight, I got to go hard. And, yeah. So, I got to, yeah, I think I do have to go hard. So, yeah. So like um before off the camera he asked me a question like um uh mama I said yeah baby have you ever thought about getting another call 
like one day if the car's not working. I think maybe, maybe not. Why? Well, I thought about if this car don't even work at all, the car that you don't even like because the person had hit your car. And I know you don't like that. I think you I don't like that. Well, to, to answer this question, yes, I really do want to get another car. So what kind? I think I tested the model Y. A white outside and a black interior because I can't do white interior because too much dirt, too much fingerprint. I can't do the. I just can't do white interior. I really want to try to do white interior with a stick covers, but I'm not sure it won't actually go through the stick covers. So that is my most main thing. My most goal is to get a white model Y tester. That is my most thing I really want. <coughs> so the cough is really bothering me. So yeah. And warm back. Like I said in my womb in the mess you would see the after before picture and an after picture. Before the picture with out my bay, after the picture with my bay. And I really need to get something else from Walmart for my womb and my little boy womb. He got in a football and a basketball post. So I really need to post that up in his womb. So his womb is not finished, my womb is not finished, and the gas womb is not finished. I might really like, um, I might even like put in the time to decorate my plate because, like I said, school working, make sure he good, make sure my mom is good. So I might be really like, I have to put in a fork into my own space. So, uh, yeah, so I might really a rush because I'm not planning on staying there that long until I actually find something else better. So that's what the goal. I really want to have a dream house. I really want to have a dream house. I have a dream that I can be able to cheat my goal to get my educational degrees and getting you know my dream house. I really want a big y'all where he gonna be able to run and have a dog. I mean, it's a lot. And I'm doing everything in my late age. I'm already in my late thirties and I have not yet achieved anything. And I think it's never too late to dream what you wanna dream. With the truth, you never it's never too late. My dream was to become a teacher in a school that I really want in my career for my career field. So I I became a teacher assistant and now I'm going back to school to get my associate degree. I am my last year with the major, and I'm, I'm now I'm thought of being most focused in my career. I've been playing around before. But now I am really actually forking it and I love it. And I didn't know there's a lot you have to do as to become a teacher or a teacher assistant in a special need field. So yeah. But I really love it. I love interaction with <coughs> excuse me. I love interaction with parents. I love interaction with the and children as well. And when I'm working at our social with a lot of teachers, a lot of principal, and I love it. I really, really love it. I really love being around people. And like I said, I am a friendly person. I really am. I may be mean inside the heart, but the outside I'm really actually nice person. So it's eight thirty seven, on our way to the doctor's office. Which is like about 
five or ten minutes from here. So, yeah. Okay, so we are back, we are all back, we are back, we are back. So we just left my um, doctor office. So I had to get uh, blood work done and get some new medicine. Yeah. So I just got a phone call that my baby came. So we will just go ahead and go home and go ahead and do the unbox the video for that one and then we go do i don't know i'm hungry i didn't eat nothing all morning um, What the god we all back we all back as y'all see I just put my bag up and with a long pause that's very long pause and never again I repeat never again so yeah this is really like I am so tired I mean it's almost 12 o'clock in the moment <clears throat> I was told when I got this day, it would take me like five or ten minutes, but it does not take me five or ten minutes. It take me almost at least an hour or two hours. But honestly, it take me two hours and thirty minutes. <sighs> the people, oh, they just lie. I mean, I love this bed. It's so comfortable. I got my first light on my bed. I love it. Thanks to my sister for this mattress. The cover is so nice that I love it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head out, get in my bed. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, give the video a comment, and give the video a thumbs up. Peace out.